Wubba -bubba -bubba -bubba. Hello guys and welcome back to Advent. Today obviously is day 8 and we're looking at the top 5 video games of all time. So let's start at number 5. Okay, so at number 5 we have Far Cry Primal. Far Cry Primal is an action-adventure video game developed by Ubisoft Montreal. Takar, a hunter from the Wenger tribe, barely survives after his hunting party is ambushed and killed by a saber-toothed tiger. As they travel to the land of Oros, resigned to proceed alone, Takar meets Sailor. A woman who's also from the Wenger tribe, and once they arrive at Oros, Sailor informs Takar that the Wenger are scattered and homeless across the land after their village was destroyed by the Ul, leader of the Nindathal like Udam tribe, who live in the northern mountains and hunt down the Wenger to cannibalize them. Takar then starts gathering the Wenger. I, he meets around his cave, eventually encountering the shaman Tensei, who helps him to learn the ability to tame the local animals after repelling an attack from all to his newly established village. Taka enlists the help of three other skilled Wenger, Jama, a veteran huntress, Woga, a one-armed craftsman, and Karush, a, a one-eyed warrior with his own vendetta against Udam. With the help from Tensei, Takar also discovers that the Udam are eating Wenger flesh in hopes of get, gaining uh, in, in immunity from the terminal genetic disease that is wiping out their tribe. Then tracks down the apprehends of the Udam commander Da about the Udam's techniques. The Wenger reject Takar's decision to give shelter to a member of the enemy tribe at first and attack to execute Da behind his back until Takar himself arrives in time to rescue Da and Chastis the tribe from performing the execution without his permission earning Da's gratitude and help. So obviously it is a good game, it's a long game, it's an open world game of course as you could tell from that, um, just that description just says it all really. It's a very good game, a very good story so I urge you all to play Far Cry Primal. Okay so at number 4 we have Amber's favourite game Bioshock. Bioshock 2 is a first person shooter game developed by 2K Marin and published by 2K Games. It's a sequel to the 2007 video game Bioshock. Bioshock 2 opens on New Year's Eve 1958, two years before the events of the first game, as Subject Delta patrols Rapture with his little sister Eleanor. Um, so yeah, Bioshock 2 is a really good game, it's, it's not really open world but it is quite dark, it's quite, it's more of a, like a, a historical horror type thing, I love the vibe of it, I love Rapture, I think it's awesome. It's Amber's favourite game by far. Um, you know, ask her what her favourite game is. She will say, without a doubt, even no matter what other games she's played um, on this list, Bioshock 2 is her favourite game. So anyway, on to number three. Okay, at number three, we have Injustice 2. Injustice 2 is the super-powered sequel to the hit game Injustice Gods Among Us that allows players to build up a power at the ultimate version of their favourite DC characters. Featuring a massive selection of DC superheroes and supervillains, players can personalise iconic DC characters with unique and powerful gear earned throughout the game. Obviously, Injustice 2 is one of my favourite games. Everyone knows I love DC. Everyone knows how much I love um, games. And, you know, I just love the Injustice 2 game. I bought it the week it came out. I actually had it pre-ordered. Um, and I was just waiting for it to come out. And then it came out on the Friday. But the store I'd pre-ordered it from didn't actually start selling it till the day after. So I was a bit pissed at that. But other than that, it's such a great game. I love um, getting all the gear and everything and unlocking the mother boxes. And I'm so glad that they were doing like they do special events where like last time I was playing it You could place Hellboy and things uh, character packs come out and things like that the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are in the next character pack uh, So yeah Injustice 2 awesome game anyway on to number two
And at number two, we have, of course, Grand Theft Auto 5. Now, obviously, this is position number two on the list. However, it may change upon the release of Red Dead Redemption 2 in 2018. Grand Theft Auto 5 is an action-adventure video game developed by Rockstar North and published by Rockstar Games. Set within the fictional state of San Andreas based on the Southern California, the single-player story follows three criminals and their efforts to commit heists. While under pressure from the government agency, the open-world design lets players freely roam San Andreas, open countryside and the fictional city of Los Santos based on Los Angeles. Okay, so, on to number one. Okay, and finally, at number one, we have the best game in the world that's ever been made. It is, of course, The Sims 4. Released, uh, well, it was originally released in 2001, was The Sims, and then the, the hit game came out in 2000. Wait, hang on. The Sims 4? This isn't right. Who's been writing this script? Huh, hang on a minute. Just let me go back and check. Ah, of course. Anyway, <clears throat> sorry about that. And finally, at number one, we have the best game in the world. We have... Assassin's Creed Origins. Assassin's Creed Origins is an action-adventure video game developed by Ubisoft Montreal and published by Ubisoft. The game is set in ancient Egypt during the Petamalamit whatever period and recounts the secret fictional history of the re of the real-world events. The story explores the origins of the centuries-long conflict between the Brotherhood of Assassins. So yeah, Assassin's Creed Origins is number one on this list. I think it's an epic game. Um, I, I, I haven't actually played it myself, nor has Amber, uh, but I, I have seen gameplays of it, so I, just from the gameplays, makes me want it, and I think I might get it for Christmas, I don't know, it depends how I feel. Um, but on a side note, I do like The Sims 4, not gonna lie, I love The Sims 4, and I am getting it for, for Christmas, so, console version. Which means, by the way, that next year, I will be doing The Sims 4. For console gameplays on the gaming channel. Anyway, guys, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow when I give you some game ideas I have. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to turn on my post notifications to be in for a chance of winning some merch on Christmas Day. Goodbye for now, guys. Goodbye.